Hello, hello and welcome back. Welcome to Space Engineers on the Xbox on the Series X with a short tutorial on how to make a automated charging station using the new block, the event controller. So here we are in my little Prospector 1 ship. You might recognise this from my survival guide save. If we jump out, you'll see we're docked to a version of my other charging station since I've made a copy of it and if you want to know how to copy a grid well this is in survival so first things first press RB and Y and go to the admin tools menu and enable creative mode tools you're going to need to do that so the radio box shows itself as active like this then all you need to do to copy the grid and it will not copy the um, it will copy this subgrid but normally it doesn't copy the grid attached to it but it's going to prove me wrong today as per usual in space engineers and when it goes green you can paste it that doesn't matter though what we're looking at now is a charging station it's a basic simple design some wind turbines a connector and that's it let's just change view hold down the right bumper push up on the d-pad and then you can manipulate the camera by holding both bumpers down rotating with the right stick and zooming in up and down with the left stick get the angle where I want it and you'll see that we're connected if I disconnect and just let me make sure yeah batteries are like that if I disconnect we're gonna drop like a stone fortunately there's a platform underneath so we're okay if for some reason this system disconnected it lost power or whatever the connector wasn't connected and you dropped like that it might still cause some damage to the ship you might see we've got a little bit of smoke coming from our landing gear because they really do not like that to happen so with this system we're going to have to solve a couple of problems and the first problem is getting things back to normal so for a start we're going to put our batteries onto auto Make sure our landing gear is working, yes. And we're just going to scoop this ship over here for now. Because I want to solve a problem with this system. And then we'll just turn off the thrusters. And lock the landing gear. And just make sure that the ship isn't consuming power. And you can actually hold down the right bumper. Press left on the D-pad. And you'll turn it off completely. Let's take a look at our landing pad. Well, the best way to solve this would be, and since we're in creative mode tools, we can do this quite easily. Normally, you'd have to use the grinder. Just thinking of the best way to do it yeah I think so um, I'm gonna to have to do you know what I'll put three of them in it'll save missing about so what we're going to do here is we're going to open up and we're going to find our bog standard rotors we're going to slap down three of them and then 
on top of these three rotors, we're going to build a flat half block. And then we're going to grab our ship. Turn it all back on. And then just bring it back a little until we get close to the connector. Come down, come down. And then for the time being, we're going to lock our connector. And now we can look at the spacing. And just so we can manipulate this grid, we're just going to slap. Uh, actually, no, we'll, we'll slap a um, button. Just down here, a little control panel, so we know. And then we've got our three rotors. We select all three, hold down the right bumper, and then press A, move down the D-pad with the right bumper held, press A, down the D-pad with the right bumper held, press A. We're going to go and turn the rotor lock on, and we're going to go all the way to the bottom, and we're going to change our rotor displacement all the way to the top at 20 centimeters. You can hold down both bumpers and push right on the D-pad to do this and it'll move it like this, left and right. Or you can press A, bring up the value set or press A again and type it in yourself. Now you'll see that our landing platform is just almost right and I bet if we take our thrusters on here turn them off then unlock this we can lock it again and we can lock our landing gear and we're now nicely connected. And to pretty this up, what we can do as well is we can just change to our half slope light armor block, rotate it correctly, and slap a few of those down here. Actually, hold on, let me look. Um, let me think on this one a second. There we are. That's better. And we can continue with this pattern here. And we can probably get away with it at the back here as well and then to make that look even better if we push up again on the d-pad we can get these segments the corner light armor for the half slope the half slopes pop it in like this and rotate it around finally here and we have a nice little platform our ship is safe it's not going to suffer the issues previously and we're all good so now all that's out of the way we want to move on to the next bit let's look at the status of what's going on for a start we have some batteries 
on the ship a couple and they're going to be fully recharged in about 42 or so minutes and that's the simple charging station working right there wind turbines a grid a connector and that's really all you need for that simple charging station we can spruce it up a bit though because what we could do is we could create some batteries on here which will charge up from the station when there's nothing docked and then we could have it so that the station detects when a ship's docked and turns those charged batteries into discharged batteries which should help speed up charging of the batteries on a ship in theory it certainly won't hurt to have more storage for power so in that case and we'll switch to the warfare batteries because i like the look of those we put the three batteries down and those will start off at 25 percent charge and then they will charge up as we go they'll also be trying to charge the connected ship so what we need to do in that regard is because we've got the nice platform here we can just unlock that connector and it should be fine there's also a couple of settings you could fiddle with on the connector themselves um, if I go to my station connector you can see you can have override power transfer so you could put that actually on the ship grid and turn it to on so even if the grid was powered off you'd still be able to transfer power but we're going to group up these warfare batteries anyway make a group move the stick over to block group and we're going to call them charge station save your group off and there we are the next bit of magic is we need to detect the state of our station connector and have these go from one state to the next so instead of recharge mode we want discharge mode so if we put all of our batteries to start with onto recharge we should now be able to use an event controller to flip our status so if we open up the programmable blocks area and you'll find that under advanced systems at the top push upon the d-pad until we get past the custom turret controller to the event controller and pop one down if we take a look at the control panel on the event controller right now you'll see that we can change it and we're looking for connector connected when we've got connector connected we want to come down and find our station connector and add that to our blocks like so when we've got that we want to look now at the actions so click actions and look at your group and you want charge station and the first space is going to be if this action is true and then the second space is if this action is false so if connector is locked then we want to discharge 
our batteries. If connector is not locked, we want to recharge our station batteries. And now you should see the change in the battery as well as the connector, um, even the event controller. If I spin the camera just right, yeah, the problem is, of course, getting that angle. If I lock our connector now, you'll see that our lighting on our event controller has changed to blue and if we examine one of these batteries you'll see our battery is now set to discharge and will be fully depleted in 16 hours now if I come along here like this jump into the cockpit again and then unlock the connector we come round again we're now in the first state on the event controller and our battery is now set to recharge from our station so now our battery is being recharged by our wind turbines and we're all good so that's one side of the equation working fine so now when you land and you connect up your ship this station will automatically discharge its batteries into your ship what about the ship itself though isn't it a bit cumbersome sort of having to put these batteries onto auto and then onto recharge we can use the event controller again this time, popping down our event controller onto the back of our ship, then going into here, going to the event controller, and this time connector connected, connector prospector one, add, select actions, groups. So what we're looking at is Prospector Batteries. So we click Prospector Batteries. And now when that's connected, we want those batteries to go to recharge. And when it's disconnected, we want them on auto. So currently they're on auto. Here we go ready to lock now they're on recharge unlock now they're back to auto lock and now our station is helping to recharge our batteries and so the current grid that you're controlling when you're looking in the control panel will always be white and any grid attached to it, like a subgrid, will always be a different colour. In this case, a darkish sort of orangey brown. So these are our batteries. And you'll see now they're fully recharged in 10 minutes instead of our 40, 45 minutes without the batteries. So these stations, these little recharge stations, are actually quite useful when you learn how to do them and if you follow this tutorial step by step and you look at what I've done with the event controllers you can make a nice little automated station that will allow you to recharge your vehicles like that based on the state of a connector that's locked or unlocked and that's it that's really all there is to it. That's just a basic example of how we can use an event controller. We can go one step further and make it more 
advanced and I'll show you how to do this but I won't be able to demonstrate it uh, because it would take longer than I've got to do this video to do it but if we jump out what we're going to do is we're going to put a second event controller onto this ship and we are going hold on first of all let's make sure that we are right the connector is connected yes we're going to pop another event controller on and the event controller is an extremely versatile block we're going to pop into our cockpit we're going to jump and look at our event controller too and what this one is going to do is this one you might notice there's uh, actually it's going to be let me just check something yeah it should be stored power I think it is and then you want to look at your warfare batteries and add them both and you'll see that the percentage is climbing and you want both of them basically and if you look the first action is triggered if each block meets the condition else the second action is triggered well we only want one action and so we want equal or greater than a particular threshold so it's at 61 percent at the moment so let's quickly say 63 percent and then actually let's um, try to work on this let's go for 70 percent so now we can do this and we want actions and the first action we want is that if it's equal to or greater than 70 percent we want our connector on our ship here to unlock and we don't want to do anything with the second slot so we're getting closer and closer on the charge That's the first time I've actually tried this, so it may or may not work. But the theory is there that if this reaches 70% and so does the second battery. So there's first battery, second battery of reach 70. There you go. Ship is unlocked and the connector is ready to lock. So now, what we can do is go to the event controller itself, change our threshold to 100%, relock it in, and our stored power equal to greater than 100. with our batteries already added and our AND gate activated when this reaches 100 our ship will unlock and remember when it unlocks our state will go from recharge to auto and our station will also change state to 
putting the batteries into charge mode. So that is basically the system. And that's how it works. And that's all I've got time for. So I was I will say, as I always do, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the subscribes. And this is the first video done with the new system properly. I have a new mic, courtesy of a very good friend of mine. And uh, I am extremely grateful to Keenata from Keen Software House for, for providing me with the means to continue on and do Space Engineers videos and provide better audio. I just have to get my teeth in this morning. Uh, I am still uh, on my first cup of coffee. And I know that's strange hearing someone from England say that they drink coffee over tea. But it is what it is. So, yes, thank you very much. And uh, stay safe, take care, have fun. Enjoy the game. Loads more to come from me and a lot more to come from Keen Software House with Space Engineers because this Automatons update is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what they're planning to do. But that's a story for another time. Bye for now. <laughs>